laser can both go very quickly and it does a very nice clean line. At a warehouse space called Fab Lab, a few people squeeze into a small room to watch a laser cut a diamond design from cardboard. So, it just pops out. Voila. The cardboard diamond is a prototype for a pendant that will eventually be made out of acrylic. 20-year-old Skylar Pacheco Rodriguez and her colleagues are learning to make necklaces for a lesson on modern manufacturing. So we took the things that we drew on paper, he transferred it over to the computer, then from the laptop he sent it to the laser room, from the laser room he sent the data to the laser and it etched out our own image. Pacheco Rodriguez drew a cartoon cat with one alien-like eye and etched it into wood. It says my cat's name, Sochi. Yeah. She doesn't have one eye. <laughs> when she's done with a 13-hour course, she'll earn a digital badge, kind of like the ones you sew on to scout uniforms, but for her LinkedIn resume or Facebook profile. It's part of an online platform called LRNG, launching in 12 U.S. cities. James Halliday, along with Fab Lab, is overseeing the launch in San Diego. I want that HR person in every, every HR office in the city to know that digital badges are the wave of the future and that tens of thousands of young people in San Diego and hundreds or millions across the country are gonna be coming to you now, but in the years ahead, not only with academic transcripts, letters of recommendation um, and summer experiences, but a whole backpack. So we, like we say, the suite of um, digital badges that capture all the kinds of informal learning, personalized learning, online learning that they've done. So far in San Diego, you can get badges for everything from building a skateboard to attending business workshops, the Central Library, Downtown Partnership, Fleet Science Center, and San Diego Workforce Partnership have already signed on to offer learning experiences. Some are free, others require a membership or fee to use the facility. Halliday says anyone can sign up for the platform, but it's geared towards 16 to 24-year-olds who want more than what a traditional school environment can offer or who can't afford a fancy summer camp. We want young people in school and out of school for there to be the possibility of learning anywhere they want on their own terms according to their own strengths, interests, and values. And that when you activate spaces like fab labs and libraries and museums in addition to the experiences that are happening in school, then you set them on a path where anything is possible and that the changes that occur when you're doing something like this design class can set you on a, I think, a path to a career that you didn't otherwise expect. That's what happened to Pacheco Rodriguez. Coming here showed me that I can do all of my art and make it real instead of on a paper. I can put it on a necklace and like this, I can learn how to make it even more 3D. So it like, changed my whole idea of what I wanted to proceed in my life. She thought she would pursue psychology, but now wants to be an environmental engineer. She's already planning to change her class schedule. So I'm literally going to wipe all that off, and whatever they show me at City College this week, I'm going to actually try to look into some more because it's what I want to do. Like, it's really cool. Halliday is being honored by Teach for America San Diego at its Innovation and Education Awards tonight for his work increasing access to career pathways. Megan Burks, KPBS News.